Well, let's take a look at the second problem now, where we have a popcorn kernel popping and flying out of the pan. And it's a question of height, how high it travels in the air vertically. So just like any kinematics problem, we'll begin by drawing our picture. Draw the popcorn kernel popping out, turn the word problem into something we can see. Include all the numbers we're given in the problem. We're also going to add our positive x and y direction, and we'll start the popcorn kernel at the zero position. And I'm going to go over to my knowns, and I'll list them out. If I start with my horizontal knowns, list out x knowns. I start at the x equals zero position. I'm not sure what my final x position is when it reaches the peak of its flight. Uh, my x velocity is a component of the launch speed, which I can find using the cosine function. Um, and there is no acceleration in the x direction, so it always keeps that. Now, at the end of the day, all of this x stuff is a little bit of a waste of time. I don't actually need the x direction to solve this problem. Remember, hang time is purely a factor of what goes on in the vertical direction. So it's from the y knowns that I'm going to get the answer to this problem. Popcorn kernel uh, starts off at the zero position vertically. We want to find the ending vertical position. Uh, vertical direction determines how high and how long it's in the air. Um, so I'll use my y component of my launch velocity with the sine function. It ends up being 3 meters per second of speed in the vertical direction. Um, at the very top of its flight, it's at rest. The vertical velocity is zero. Even though it may still be moving horizontally, it has no vertical velocity at the peak. Uh, vertical acceleration, that of gravity, and time I don't know. So I'm going to use my vertical knowns and my equation without time in it to solve this problem for the final y position. So we'll substitute the values in. And the popcorn kernel looks like it rises um, just a little less than half a meter above the pan. See if you can do the next couple example problems on your own. But feel free to scan ahead or skim ahead in this video if you need a few hints or you want to check your work and see if you did it correctly.